Okay. Did it, did it, who? Dan Dopo, you. Let's go. Ow, wow, yes. listen right now. Everybody knows the man that says wow. Start the show, gonna talk some toys. Okay. This is for the grown up girls and boys. Making noise, let's start the show. Okay. Talking Marvel Legends and the money that we blow. Honestly, look, there ain't no stopping me. Turtles and Joes, too, let's do this properly. Need to buy more toys, don't tell my bank. Wasn't me, promise it was Hellfire Hank. Whole who crew, look, they made me do it. If it lands in my door, then I best review it. Screw it. I don't usually boast, but I got rich M, he's here to host Raise a toast and raise some dots This isn't your average show, we're deluxe <laughs> Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews As always, my name is Dan Do we make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who And happy Thursday to you all We are back as we always are, like we never left, here to talk and recap the week that was in the world of toys and Marvel Legends, if there is any news. And today there is a pre-order uh, for X-Men Wave 2. But we thought, nah, we've already talked about that. Let's talk about Wave 3 instead. Now, I should caveat this by saying we have no actual guarantee of a Wave 3, but we have been uh, heavily teased of Wave 3. So we're going to discuss it like it is an actual thing and talk about what should be in Wave 3. Whether that happens or not, we don't know, but I cannot do it on my own. So let me introduce the best co-host. It is, of course, Richard M. The First. At least I think he's the first. Rich, are you, are you there? Oh, hey there. I'm just catching up on my mags. How are you doing? I'm all good, you all right? Mate. I'm all good. What are you reading there? I'm reading Dead X, man. Jubilee's back. She's, she's back. back, 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 back again. There Jubilee, we go. She's back, back, back for the third time. Uh, that also gives me a good head start on today's poll. The poll simply says, what X-Men character do you want to see in X-Men 97 Wave 3 the most? Beast, Jubilee, Sunspot or Morph? So Sunspot is Sunspot in Jubilee. Jubilee. Oh, you minute. can all fuck off with that. <laughs> all of you can fuck off with that. I'm just yeah. saying that now. Yeah, uh, so we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that to shortly. But uh, but how's your week? Richard? You'll all be crying next week when Craig's your new co-host. I tell you that now. <laughs> what makes you think Craig is next in line? Because, yeah, Craig is the next one, I know. <laughs> He's chosen one. <laughs> I knighted him. <laughs> How's your week been? You all right? It has been very good, yeah. I went and saw The Beekeeper at the cinema with Jason Statham. It was a movie, Dad. It it's was a movie. It was a movie. Confirmed. It was a movie, yeah. <laughs> movie confirmed. Yeah, very nice. I, I, to be fair, sometimes I don't mind seeing those stupid action movies where you can just switch your brain off and just go with it. Um, but a lot of them are very much blur and seem like they're the same bloody thing. It's the, the bit that I couldn't get over. Right? This is not a spoiler because it's the beginning of the film. But basically, an old lady dies and then her daughter is like an FBI agent. Okay. And for the for apart from the one scene with Jason Statham for like two minutes... She seems to have forgotten that her mother is dead. And that is like the whole... She's just having a whale of a time, she is. She's having a whale of a time for her dead mother, who, like, she thinks killed herself, like, two minutes before. But it's all set over two days as well. So it's literally a day, a day later. She's got she delayed, just... delayed grief. It will hit her on day three, but they didn't film that part, you see. That's the spin-off. She, was, the she spin was hypnotized by Jason Statham acting skills. That's what yeah. it was. He's such a good actor that she just couldn't... <laughs> take anymore look he's good in snatch and lot of stock and stuff like that he plays his role to a t there's actually he, a, a, a new he's book. in it he's in this one he says words Does he? <laughs> <I'll say that. laughs> there's a new uh tv series on netflix called the gentleman which is a spin-off of that so um, i'm looking forward to seeing that but i don't think jason statham's in it but it's another british gangstery film anyway uh tat tat jumps in early with a little super chat saying happy gi joe day and x-men 97 wave free goodness Love from Tat Tat Toys. Well, Tat Tat Toys, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And yes, happy Joe, uh, Joe Day Celebration Day. You know, there has been reveals. Uh, of course, Joe's and Juice will return to recap all of that. So that perfectly sets me up so for some of the housekeeping. So last week was Legend of Liquor. That means this week there is no Legend of Liquor. It is just the Thursday show and then the bonus show. So if you do want to like pre-little Legend of Liquor... 
free drinks we shall call it then you know what to do join the dan who extra crew and that's what we're doing tonight uh, but joe's and juice i'm hoping soon we were expecting a live stream as such today but mark tack tack was lying to us he lied no he didn't know really but uh yeah so joe's and juice and turtles and tea will return in february i guarantee you all right i promise uh, and of course if you want to contribute just like mark tack tack did anything over four pounds or four dollars our super producing robot friday talking assistant will read it out loud for you uh so anything over four pounds or four dollars via the Streamlabs donation link like Mark Tac Tac did in the description below or just a regular YouTube super chat either way it's appreciated contribute to the channel and I will stay here as long as you want me all right and hit that join button all right and that is the sort of gateway in to join this community that we're building here I know that word gets thrown around a lot on YouTube but honestly I do think what we've got here is really really cool so get involved don't be shy always adding and welcoming new people forever expanding so if you watch the show and you've never done it just just hit it join us for one ledge of the liquor and if you don't like it i promise i'll leave you alone but uh hit it once that'll be fun all right and today we'll be doing a dan who deluxe after show so as i said this is like pre-drinks no ledge of the liquor this week so if you need your toy talking fix uh then this is the way to do it all right so join the channel membership at the who crew deluxe tier uh, and you get to be a part of that extra bonus show not only do you get to watch it but you can be a guest on it straight after this every single thursday you can be a guest on the bonus show and that's where we talk about all the juicy gossip that's where we bitch about everyone the most that's where we talk about all the reveals that me and rich really know about that's the madam one. web that's the one you want to know about <laughs> uh let's jump to the chat as well so what's the chat saying who's in nice and early so we've already seen the poll please do get involved with the poll please help jubilee rank up a little bit over a hundred votes so far and uh, Sunspot... Come on, boy, Jubilee, come on! Come on! <laughs> Sunspot has beaten Jubilee. Didn't expect that, to be fair. I thought, Rich, people would see that poll and think, well, Dan likes Beast, so let's not vote for Beast. And people would vote for Jubilee because they like you better than me. But uh, I guess the blue furry bastard is, uh, is uh, a people's favourite, so I'm not complaining. Poor Morph, though, only 9%. But uh, get involved with the poll if you are around your computer. But let me say hello to some people in the chat. There's our uh, Greek friend... That I learned how to pronounce in Legend of Liquor, but I've since forgot. But uh, ta is it tacos? Taco? No, that can't be it. That's a food. I apologize already. I'm so offensive. Um, but uh, hello. I see you and appreciate you, my Greek friend. Uh, figure Cave Collectibles says, My most wanted X-Men 97 figure would be a Juggernaut or a Sabretooth. Good, good picks, but considering we're just getting Sabretooth in that Wolverine 2 pack, I don't see that happening, unfortunately. I do. They'll do a Sabretooth to go with this one. I hope they so. Will. They I would, love it. People would love it. People would love it. Uh, Pixels on Plastic is addressing you here, where he says, oh. Rich, I voted for Jubilee, even though the VHS one is good and updated, but an updated one would be perfect. Yeah, I'm sure even Rich would agree uh, they can do better than the VHS version, absolutely, so... That one doesn't even have double jointed elbows, right? I don't think. No, no she's double jointed right. elbows. She's double right jointed here. knees. She got pins. She's right here. Sal shading. She's got the old soft goods. School. Soft goods. She could have as well. Yeah, you got some soft goods for Christmas, didn't you? They, I did. Yeah, they Thank were. you to Tom again. Yeah, they were best pretty, present. That was a pretty good present for you, to be fair. Uh, Jamie Gitchard with the pals and the hits and the ducks. He is the quack commissioner, of course. If you watch Legend of the Liquor, and then you know. Uh, we got Cloud Fox. Wow, says ready for more distraction from the work day. Look. Look here, Cloud, this way. Cloud, over here. Shh, come here. Cloud, go. I'm over I'm here. Look. Did that did that distract her enough, do you reckon? Was that distracting? Maybe. maybe. Uh, Sydney not in, in enough. Let me get Oh, yeah, that's, that's get, get them more central. There, there you we go. go. There you go. They got this better. Nice. Uh, uh, Jelly Figs, Mark <laughs> Rose, Little Leaf Creation says, Evening Who Crew. Got to catch this one on the replay. Have an awesome stream. Well, hello to Pete on the replay crew. Whenever you decide to watch us, Pete, we're here. We were waiting for you. And now you're here listening. I'm so happy you got to join us on the replay. So thank you. Uh, Z Man, double O Z. Uh, he is on a secret mission. I have no doubts about it. Meeting up with other members of the Who Crew. I've seen he was meeting up with Dan Hayden and Tac Tac over in London there. Uh, too far for me and Rich, unfortunately. But soon. We will reunite. Uh, Jay's F Toy Collection UK. Uh, what was funny is I watched Jay's Power Ranger collection video like today, catching up. And then he's already sent me a video where he's already moved it. It's already gone. He's already moved it somewhere else and made space for some Simpsons. But maybe he'll join us on the after show and tell us all about it. Uh, Paul McCarthy says, Kapow, uh, who crew. Happy Thursday, all. John says, hi, Dan and Rich. Everyone, happy Thursday. Hello, John. Biggest dog ever. Says, good day, one and all. Good day. Mucky Moon Boots. Uh, my 
Mark Rose, as I said. Uh, James Saint is in the chat. James, how you doing? He's been jumping on Legend of Liquor recently. It's always good to see new faces. It's been fun getting to know him and his epic toys and shoe collection. But the shoes are starting to windle away. The sneakers, as they say. That's windling away. Uh, we've got uh, Dewey. That's right. I'm still saying it right, right? Dewey? Yes. Well done. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Um, Only two years. So good to live that. Ooh, well done. Uh, yeah. He says, evening, everyone. Evening. He's got an epic Joe display as well. He was showing off a Legend of Liquor. Fortress Maximus says, is it saxy time? Oh, I see what he did there because of the saxophone. I like it. I like it. Saxy time. Uh, Marco, Marco says, uh, Dan the Man. Is that me? Thank you very much. Figure Cave Collectibles says, is evening at all. Uh, Daniel Les. Rectangular says, hello, for, uh, kids. Uh, that's because he's really, really old. I'm joking. I like Todd, but he is very old. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I love Todd. He knows I do. One day you're going to go to America and tag get punched in the face. Yeah. Do you know what? I'd shake his hand after and go, do you know what? Fair play. Fair play. I wouldn't be mad at him. Greg Finstad <laughs> is in the chat. The mysterious vacant man. No one knows what he looks like. He's a mysterious shadowy figure, but I like him all the same. He says, eight after still feels Got like one time in the, the street. Break, but eight break, o'clock break, is just a... Break. A suggested start time. Oh, who's Doom this? Customs Doom donated Customs donated $50. Where, where did he come from? Rich M is the best co-host. Nothing is better than Dan W and Rich M. P.S. I think I bought two full sets and four night crawlers. Bloody One. hell. Doom Customs, you are an absolute legend as always. He keeps the lights on in the Dan Who household. That is for damn sure. Uh, he keeps the channel alive too, which I appreciate. He says, but this is all for you, Rich. He says, Rich M is the best co-host. He just said it as a fact. Um, considering yeah. I only had one other co-host, that's got to hurt him. That's got to hurt him on the replay crew, right? Do you reckon he's watching this in the replay going, ah, <laughs> it got me. Sorry about that, Brandon. We still have an emoji for you, though, Brandon. See, people in the chat, I forgot. People in the chat. Uh, but Doom Custom says, nothing is better than a Dan Who and a Rich M. I called you Rich, a Richard M the first there, but are you the third, the second? Are you Are you the first? I think I am the only Rich M you in my are family. You are the yeah. first, yes. Richard One in a million, Dan. One in a million, Dan. Uh, P.S. I think I brought two full sets and four Nightcrawlers. Uh, no, that Nightcrawler looks good. Definitely an updated version of the previous one. And if you've got the previous one that came with three interchangeable heads, you'll be able to put some of those heads on some of the new Nightcrawlers you've got because it doesn't have cell shading, thankfully. Uh, and you can have a, 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 cr a whole crew of different Nightcrawlers there. So not a bad idea. That will be one that will get harder to get on the aftermarket. Oh, and, and Brandon is on the round. Brandon is lurking. He might have heard us <laughs> say that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Throw your Brandon emojis up. Uh, Gary's Grail says, Cable for Wave 3, please. Cable's got potential. We will discuss. Uh, Arvin says, March and April will be X-Men heavy. Yeah, absolutely. With the Wolverine celebration, with the X-Men 97. Um, yeah, it's going to be an X-Men sort of first, second quarter. That is for sure. Disavowed says, what's going on all? Just Justin Collects says, hey, Tim. Am I missing something? Now, who's Tim? They were talking about Tim the other day as well. I feel like this is an inside joke that I'm not a part of. Or there's someone called Tim in the chat. I'm very confused. Uh, Frozen Pizza says, what's up, though? What's up, Frozen Pizza? Home dudes in the chat as well. Uh, Radical Toys, uh, who was showing some love on the channel the other day, which I appreciate. He says, I'm paying, I'm praying uh, G for a Hellfire Club outfit for Emma Frost sometime down the line since her outfits have been spotted in the screenshots. Uh, yes, they absolutely have. Uh, we will be discussing these screenshots today. So don't you worry. We'll, we'll, we will get back to the uh, how far... Yeah, Disavow Toys, Toys is Tim. I don't know what you're on by that. That's Tim. Disavow Toys' name. Oh, there you, there you go. I just... I didn't realise. Oh. <laughs> See, I, this is what I mean. I, I call people by their, their names unless... Like they're regularly on the show and I get to know them. But Disavowed, he's, he's not really been on the show. Disavowed, get involved on Legend of Liquor, right? Stop being shy. Get involved. Expand your horizons and come and meet all these beautiful people online. If you, It just depends if you're free on a, a Sunday, I guess. But uh, yes, Tim, you are more than welcome. Sorry, I was... I'm just... Got the money I'm, in the bank. Uh, there's, there he is, Hero Collections. Uh, he says, gone, but never forgotten. Pre-order X-Men 97. Um, of course. Who said that? Who? <laughs> Look, there you go. We got the Brandon emoji still. It will never go. It will never go. That old logo. He's even he's even retired that logo now, but it will forever live as an emoji. Brandon, I, I, I appreciate you as always. And he says pre-order X Men ninety seven. Yeah, there's a lot uh, of X Men stuff going around right now, as you can see on screen. Wave one and two of the X-Men wave. Wave one is already out. It's hitting. It is available right now. I'm sure you already have it in your hands if you desire them. Uh, but maybe wave two 
will get you a little bit itchy to backtrack if you haven't already as that went up for pre-order today and it's a nice little bunch now but today's stream is all about discussing the potential of a wave free so that's exactly what we're going to do today but before we do that rich do you have anything non-marvel related toy like is anything arrived because i've got no new pickups this week nothing new arrived i only got one thing so uh, uh revolution revolution sorry revelations the first one just came on netflix so i went and got the sorceress tila figure that was out from mattel very nice it's part of the masterverse line it looks really good i haven't took it out of the box yet yeah, because i've been busy down as usual busy 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 but yeah is that the she looks really nice kevin smith version of he-man yeah this is the so revelation is the first season okay. which is kind of like tila focus and then revolution is the newer one which is more he-man focus and there's like uh the tech baddie and people they all get updated looks so like in this one tila becomes a sorceress again not a spoiler because she comes a sorceress at the end of the last season so but yeah this is a look from that and there's probably more to come i think this is like the third tila we've had because we had the revelation with the, like the shaved head look that went down really popular with people. They love that. I love that updated <laughs> look for Tila. Then they did the classic uh, Tila. Now they've done Sorceress Tila. But she does get another look in uh, Revolution as well. So they're probably going to do that as well. But yeah, really good figure. I've been liking this line. And I liked the mini series as well. I thought it was really good. Although Sarah Michelle Gellar did not come back as Tila. Oh, what I think was that? Mil Mil I don't know. Melissa Be Well, I think it had a lot of blowback, didn't it? But they had Melissa Benoist, a Supergirl. She came in and did okay. the voice of Tila in the new season. I like Supergirl. She was all right. I haven't seen her in anything else apart from Supergirl, but I like her. She's in Glee. I remember she was in Glee. I haven't seen Glee. I'm not going to lie. Glee wasn't no, in my No, you're show that, no. Yeah, it wasn't in my forte, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, X says, hey, Rich, where did you get that sick hat? I said to Rich before he went live, he looks like the Kevin Feige <laughs> of the X-Men animated series. Rich is basically the producer of the X-Men show now. I don't know. I might have been. Was it the Disney store? I don't even know where I got it from. Fashion UK 11 St. George's Way. That's what go. it says. <laughs> That's the exact location. Where, wherever that is. Or just become go. a producer of the X Men animated series and you can also get a hat. He is the super producer for a reason. He needs a hat to warrant as such. There you go. It was definitely a, U a UK hat shot. It was definitely somewhere that sells hats in the UK and it definitely was in River Island because hats don't fit me in River Island because my gun big head. That's why. Don't, don't go up to my sides, apparently. Uh, right. What else in the chat? I'm just having a quick glance. Uh, Rich M is irreplaceable, says uh, Rich M. Uh, says um, Rectangular. Says Rich M. Oh, <laughs> shit. My secret account got blown. <laughs> says Rectangular. <laughs> I was reading Rich M as he writ Rich M. That's all. Uh, okay. So let's, let's jump straight into X-Men then. Why the how not? So, of course... The pre-order for today mm. is actually Wave 2, like we've already discussed, okay? So that's Cyclops, Executioner, Magneto in his second look, uh, the Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor, first time in Marvel Legends form, very happy about that. Same as Executioner, by the way. Uh, a new updated Nightcrawler, looks the same as the previous one, but it has got the updated pinless arms and legs now. And then Jean Grey, who probably looks like the best jean gray we have gotten in the jim lee outfit whether it's based on the animated or comics it doesn't matter it's a very nice looking jean gray how dare uh, you how dare you dan who you has bro shell she hasn't got an ab cut death to hands bro oh, death to hands bro i'm not disputing that the ab crunch is uh unforgivable but uh it's probably still that's how that's how low the bar is for jean gray amongst the marvel <laughs> legends though do you know what i mean like can she stand up basically is like this, a good this thing is these days. the bar the bar was set by this jelly leg <laughs> jean so <laughs> so saying that is the best jean gray isn't a lie and it's not be, be being shitty either it's just it's just the bar was very low for poor jean gray so anyway like i've got all the vhs stuff anyway so i'm a, I'm a hypocrite but um i just want them to complete a full set of Jim Lee characters uh, in one format. Now, I have a graphic that I always show, and I forgot that that would have been perfect for today's show. Have I got it still? Let me see if I can find it. Now, I think this is from Jimmy Boy on Twitter, so shout out Jimmy Boy. But he has updated the graphic. Now, as collectors, I think it's safe to say we like to complete teams. It's very satisfying that you commit to a line. And yes, it can take time because these toy companies, they know what they're doing. They make you wait. They, if they gave you the whole team in one go, then you may never come back. Do they, do they know what they're doing, Dan? No, they? You know what I'm trying to say. They, they, like to milk, <laughs> they like to milk it, don't they? They're not going to give you the full team in one wave. They're going to make you wait so you keep coming back and they just keep you... So 
they have yet to complete the iconic Jim Lee. I know the Jim Lee team may not be everyone's favourite X-Men team, but you cannot deny, because that was the look they chose for the animated show, it is a, a very iconic look for the X-Men um, amongst not not just comic book readers, but non-comic book readers as well, all right? So they are very iconic looks. So to complete that team in one format for Marvel Legends would be very satisfying. Uh, and we had the Build-A-Figure format, and they got very close, but they never gave us a Jean or a Storm. And then they moved over to the Orange card, which were the tribute to the old Toy Biz cards, which I really liked. I, I wanted these Jim Lee outfits on that card. That would have been my personal preference. That's where we got Blue Beast. Uh, that's where we got uh, uh, the re-release of Storm. Uh, Rogue, sorry. That's where we got Storm and Gambit. But again, missing characters. We did get a Cyclops. We did get a Wolverine, but not in the Jim Lee outfits. They weren't matching. It was like the X Factor Cyclops was in it, and like a Ninja Wolverine and whatever. Disappointing. So then they moved on in the in the non-plastic packaging era. Do you know the era that Rich thought was going to be here forever and like that that era, <laughs> that, <laughs> the, the the non-plastic era has bro pivoted and went to the VHS box sets, which was a clever little gimmick for the non-plastic era. Uh, and it was based; these looks were based on the animated show, but yet they did not complete any team. They did a couple of waves, uh, but never completed the team. Now looking at this X Men ninety seven. We are only two waves in, and I'll keep throwing back to this image, with 12 figures so far, but there is high potential here, Rich, that a, way, a third wave, a wave three, which again, I will caveat by saying hasn't yet been announced, but Dan Yoon teased it, and he wouldn't tease it if it wasn't going to happen, I don't think. Why would he do that? So I do think we're going to get a wave three. And based they, off... and they wouldn't have kept the best two X Men back exactly. for any other reason unless exactly. they knew the Wave Three was coming. Would they? So based off this list, there are only two of these themes that are missing two characters: the original Build a Figure format, which I don't think they're going to bother going back to on on that sort of style. They could because the Build a Figures are back, of course, but uh, I don't think they will. And also, X Men ninety seven is two away with Beast and Jubilee. So. A wave three of X-Men 97 cards has to be, right? Surely, if they don't do that, what are they smoking? Like, it has to be Beast and Jubilee in wave three. As a bare yeah. minimum. After that, you can go wild. But don't not give us Beast and Jubilee. And don't give us Beast and Jubilee in a two-pack or in a VHS box. Or just complete a team in one format for the love of collectors out there, please. Because even inbox collectors would appreciate completing a team in one style. Rich, amongst all of that rambling, do you agree that as a collector it would be satisfying to complete this iconic look for the X-Men in one Marvel Legends format? I do, but they need to be single carded releases to the mainstream in Wave 3. They do not to be packings with a £1,000 black budget. That's what I don't want, Dad. That's what I don't need. I need them available to everyone. That's yeah, what I need. Don't freak me out. Yeah, no. I, I do think as well is, like, I can't see us... Like, of all the years, I think if we're going to get a Tiger Strike Wolverine and an orange retro card, it's got to be this year. As some, like, store exclusive... Because, like, all the tooling is there. They just need to, like, do, like, a bit of a paint job, put him on that card, and it's an easy store exclusive. Like, I, I think we will get Wolverine on a bare minimum on that orange card at some point. I just don't see how they can't do it because this is, like, so iconic. Right, I've got these here as an example. Right, so, like Rich is saying, right, I know you are all thinking, they already doing Wolverine, they've done a thousand Wolverines, we don't need another one, right? It's not about adding another Wolverine to the collection. It's about, as collectors, filling those little gaps in our in our own sort of collections. And like that orange card is a tribute to something that is nostalgic to us. Where the X-Men 97, it's a nice card back, but it's a modern design card back to sort of have that sort of same flavour. But it's not nostalgic to anything in particular. I, I guess the show in general is, but not the, not the packaging. That orange packaging is a straight-up tribute to the Toy Biz days. So I would love a Jim Lee Wolverine and Cyclops on that packaging. And even though we have good Cyclopses and Wolverines in the Legends line, I would absolutely buy them again. And like Rich said, they do occasionally release store exclusives of characters that are available, but they just stick them on a card back just for the people that want them. It's not like... It's one of those where you didn't have to buy this if you already had the other one, but if you wanted it on a card, it was there, available. Same with... Same with... um. 
And Moon Knight, Moon Knight hair, he, he'd been released several times. Even the, the other, the modernised version Moon Knight got a re-release on the plastic free packaging box. So again, if you have him, that's great. You don't need this. But if you wanted it on a card back, you have the option. So I wouldn't be against them revisiting the orange retro cards, the Toy Biz Tribute. But I'm speaking for myself as like, that's that's my bread and butter is that, that sweet nostalgic packaging. If you couldn't tell by the Spider-Man wall beside me. So... I'm with you. I would also like the orange cards, but it does seem likely it's going to be X-Men 97. Agreed? Yeah. Agreed. I think that if all the could be finished first, it will be that one. Yeah, agreed. So I think, I, I do think a way free is very likely. And again, shout out Jimmy Boy for this graphic. I, I think it was Jimmy Boy on, on Twitter. I hope it was. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, so let's do this then. So based off the very brief details we have gotten. So these images you can see on screen are actual... Uh, images that were shown at San Diego Comic-Con, I believe, in 2022, not even 2023, uh, to hype up the show. That was originally scheduled to re-release or re -release, uh, sometime in 2023. Uh, but obviously, the calendar's constantly being pushed and pushed and pushed. Um, I'm sure the writer's strikes and whatnot didn't help. I know it's animation, but still. So these are technically, because we haven't got a trailer yet... I'm not wrong in saying, Rich, these are the only official images we have been given so far from the show, right? Yeah, and I think you've got some other... They did release then, of the 12 main characters, like uh, upper, like high-res resolution images of them, but we haven't seen like any like actual like video footage from it. It's all just been still so far. Yeah, um, I've got those images here. So these are the do you know what? No, do you know what I'm more scared about with this? Go on. That they change the theme tone. They better oh, not change no. the theme tone. No, don't say that. No, you're not wrong though. No one's really. Everyone's just assuming. Oh, they because be... all the all the like theme tunes lately are just like they tiny. They're not, they're not long. They just be like da 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 da. da. Expert. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Porky Pig jumping out of his screen. Um, <laughs> No, don't remix it either. Do you reckon they might like remix it and add? Like... Oh no! Don't touch it. Don't do anything yeah. to it. They just need to keep it oh, normal. Yeah, don't please. Everyone's expecting. Unless, unless they use my remix and then my rights are available. <laughs> 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 right, do customs again. Do customs is so fucking good. To Doomed me. customs donated fifty dollars. Does Jean Grey come with a C after the uses her powers? I'd love to see the girl powers not exhaust the characters every time. <laughs> Biceps. <laughs> Does that, it's a good point, actually. Does Jean Grey come with a sigh after she uses her powers? I'd love the girl powers to not exhaust the characters every time. He's not wrong. If you actually go if you remember it in the show, every time someone like Jean would use their powers, they'd just be all like, oh, I've, I've used my powers now. Now I must faint and someone catch me. Like, they can't just use their powers and be fine. It's like, oh, that exhausted all my energy. He's not wrong. He's onto something there, right? Yeah, she she does faint a lot, and like in the in the new series as well. I think like some I I think there's something going on with certain characters. I don't think that full twelve are going to be around for the full series. I think uh -oh. some stuff is going to happen. They're not going to kill Morph in the first two episodes again, are they? Poor bloody Morph. But do you know what, Dad? Right, as, as, <laughs> I'm scared to say this out loud. But I think that it might be they might kill Jubilee off. What? I I just think they might kill Jubilee off in like the first couple of episodes. Because Jubilee she was always like younger, okay, yeah, and now they've got Sunspot, and then like the thing is about like when Morph died in that like X Men show, it was like oh my god, they killed one of the X Men, and it's like if you want an easy way to get in to like you know the the audience of today, an easy hook, you kill off the best character, I don't know, so you're <sighs> gonna kill off Jubilee. Yeah, that's, I, w I hope they don't. I hope they keep... I hope they bring in Kitty Pride for two seconds and just fucking kill her. And then that's it. Hey! Kitty Pride's not in the universe uh, again. Uh, no, I hope they don't kill anyone off. No, they don't need... To. They already did that. They did that in the original series. First two episodes, not at the Sentinels. Live, uh, they killed Morph. And he eventually came back because of fan demand, of course. But they did that. So I don't think they'd start or reboot the season with the same continuity and then kill someone off in the first... I don't think they're going to do that. At least I... Fingers crossed they don't. But uh, yeah, these are the images that they've released so far. Not a lot is the point we're all making. So when it comes to speculating what a way free of Marvel Legends can be, it's quite easy to narrow it down based off these images because we already have quite a lot of these in figure form. Again, I'll throw you back to what's actually been released. Here's the 12 figures that have now officially been released. Now we can look at these promo images and go, okay, well, who have we got? We've got Gambit. We've got Wolverine. Uh, I literally... Shout out to Rich, you got me this as a birthday gift. So, literally, Wolverine is right there. Probably the best Marvel Legends 
Wolverine in this particular look, comic or animated, it doesn't matter. This is a great Wolverine figure. Um, the reason I haven't opened it yet, because I'm slow, I'm thinking, do I need to keep these on cards? Is this going to be, if they get, if we get wave three and we've got, what, we'd have like 18 or 16 figures. Ah, tempting. Anyway. Don't lie, he's going he's gonna to sell it, yeah. He's going to have no, a, sh a to shop a toy fit. It's a little hey, stuff, yeah, this year. Look at all of this. <laughs> I ain't selling, I don't sell anything. That's my issue. I ain't got any room on the shelf for any more figures. Like, my issue is I can't sell things. Um... Amanda would love it if I sold some stuff. Anyway, Jubilee, uh, she hasn't been made. Cyclops has. Storm has. Jean has. And then Beast, you can see the edge of in there. He hasn't. So out of that top panel, it's Beast and uh, Jubilee that hasn't been made. Then moving on to the bad guys. Again, we will go through this a little bit more, but we haven't had any of these yet. Uh, scrolling down to the Sentinel. The Sentinel... Uh, is basically the Sentinel we got in the X-Men 97 sort of... What is it? The Titan series? Titan hero. Titan yeah. hero, yeah. So the Titan hero looks exactly like that. You cannot deny. I've got a review on the channel. You can literally go and check it out. I did the whole sort of epic heroes scale figures. That were great, by the way. They came with a, 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 a Blackbird as well. Um, I think the only one we didn't get rich is the gambit right because he came in the fight. yeah pack. yeah yeah he was in a he was in a target exclusive yeah. set i think but they were really fun really liked them uh, and might be more of them this year as well more of the epic heroes because yeah. they've done more of the like avengers and spider-man figures and they're they, on so... some nice card backs now rather than those boxes they actually look really good like that's what the kids of tomorrow are probably gonna see as nostalgic yeah. maybe if they have the same effect but anyway ge generic looking uh, sentinel but looks fine this other picture now sunspot obviously we don't have morph we're curious to why Morph looks like the AOA Morph, but we'll find that out, I'm sure. Um, Cable, Bishop, who we already have. Forge, we don't have. And you can see Nightcrawler there at the edge, who we have in Wave 2. So out of this section, we don't have Forge or Cable, Morph or Sunspot. So there's four characters that are already potential for Wave 3. But you know they like to throw some villains in there. Um, so I'm thinking maybe some of these are going to be in Wave 3. But uh, right at the bottom here is Magneto, who we know is going to be in Wave 2 as well. We're assuming that's going to be Magneto's main look for the series, uh, rather than his uh, original look. But again, we don't really know the details yet. So... I like, I like Magneto's be manscaping those armpits as well. Yeah, Doing a good job there, Magneto, with the manscape. And the arms Sponsored in general. By... You just shave the top. <laughs> just why not? Look, if I'm gonna it's hard gloves... to get those gloves on over stumbling there. He's got to keep them like sheer. If I'm going to shave, <laughs> if I'm going to wear my gloves to here, I'm going to shave the rest of me. That's what he was doing. <laughs> um, right, so let's just jump into this. Let's start off nice and easy. Now, I, I may be a bit biased towards Beast. I get criticised, especially from the Powers of X-Men podcast. Um... I love those guys, but they don't like the fact that I like Beast because Beast isn't a fan over their ways, but they based their opinion on Beast from the comics because I understand in the comics... No, no, I think they they, they based their opinion on all Beast. Beast, Beast is a dickhead. No, he's a shit no, no way. They, they have, they Springs has he's said that so Beast is not shit. a dickhead of in the animation. all the acts, man, Beast is the shittest of all. Honestly, that's part from Kitty Pride. He's the second shit ass. What does Beast do? He's blue and intelligent. Blue, furry, intelligent, genius. I can't... There's no point of having brawn if you haven't got brains. So, no else is blue, though? Nightcrawler and Mystique. And they're great no as well, is, right? No else, is, no else is intelligent. Forge is intelligent. But Professor X is intelligent. It's not furry. Prodigy. It's intelligent. Shout out uh, to Rob Pollack. He loves a bit of Prodigy. There we go. New X-Men shout out. <laughs> Look, Beast, as the, fa the, the chat agree with me, right? If I jump back to the chat real quick, check this poll. I asked out of the four characters that we have, uh, what X-Men characters you want the most in Wave 3? 45% of our viewership, which over 164 votes so far, Ugh. have said Beast. Uh, okay, so that's a decent percentage of people liking Beast. So I'm not the only one. Why if you there. subtract all of Phil Jones's alternate accounts? That's like 100 votes gone. That's, to be fair, that is a lot of votes <laughs> gone, isn't it? <laughs> to be honest. Um, but compared. So the last Beast we got in Marvel Legends form was the, the Dan Who Lab Coat Beast. Do you know that? You know the Lab Coat, Dan Who Lab Coat Beast? That everyone refers to it as the Dan Who Lab Coat Beast. I Dan Hunt, like, yeah. yeah, everyone refers to it as that. That's its official canon name. Um, that was a decent beast, but the head scorp isn't quite animated, the glasses fall off, and he isn't pinless. And we do live in a pinless era now where do people love those pinless arms and legs? So, a way... You know what else beast needs to be, Dan? 
Go on. He's be flocked, I think. A flocked Ooh, beast. Don't say that to a robo. With combable hair. That's what he needs. Robo's like a My even... Little Pony. My Little Hank McCoy. <laughs> Robo's not even watching the stream. He's sat in at home in America eating his dinner now or something. And he just shivered. And he don't know why. And it's because the suggestion as a flocked beast was just uttered into existence. Um... I'd buy it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, even if it was like a troll doll and came with a little plastic comb to comb his hair, <laughs> I would buy it. But I, I'm a Beast fan, so what can I say? But uh, I do think the way to upgrade... I do think the Marvel Legends Beast we got is a great figure. It was my favourite figure of 2018. I think it hit number one. Was it 18 or 19? The chat can correct me. But either way, it's a solid Marvel Legends Beast. Anthony Customs actually put out a more animated, accurate head sculpt, uh, which I purchased. And that is what I have on display over here. Um, because I don't think the Legends team have actually gave us a, a proper animated head sculpt yet. So that's why I think him being in Wave 3 would be great. Because they can maybe update him to be pinless, like they did with Nightcrawler. They update the character design. It looks same, but they give him pinless. And then give us that more accurate head scoop now are you saying rich if that's what they did beast came on that card back and he was pinless now and they gave us a more animated head scoop you wouldn't buy him i mean as long as jubilee's in the wave i would buy him but if it's him and jubilee's hell bad then i'm not i'm not into it dan i'm not that's into fair. the i'd understand the whole boycott of the wave if that was the case yeah the casual um dismissing of jubilee it's not it's not good dan not a good not a good love but if you do like jubilee then x man in shop this week with jubilee in there there we go i got the alternate cover with jubilee on others are available there we go thank you very much <laughs> others are available well <laughs> others are available uh to, to, to pick from from this list so as much as i could talk about beast for another hour i won't we will move on to something that rich would absolutely talk about for an hour <laughs> it's jubilee so okay so Vicious. just like i've done with beast rich uh, i talked about what we've currently got in marvel legends form and how can that be improved upon in relation to the animated show how would you do that with jubilee what are you reading I completely, I completely missed everything you just said. Siri came on for some reason. Sorry, I was trying to get it off. <laughs> well, you were like in deep thought. I was saying that I've just suggested a way to improve the current Marvel Legends beast in relation to the animated show. How could we do that for Jubilee? Because the last time we got Jubilee in Marvel Legends line was the VHS version. So... How would, you, how would you improve perfe in perfection, Dan? How would you improve perfection? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Dan. I'll tell you, come down, come down. You know what you can do is you can do a soft goods cape, that, a cape, coat. That would be a good, yeah. just coat is that jacket. That would be a good point. Then obviously she needs double jointed arms and double jointed legs and all yes. pinless. Yeah. She's got new baggy boots in X-Men 97. She's got an updated look with a funkier hairstyle and like bigger glasses. Her shorts seem to be more tailored and longer as well. So that would be like good things to do. And you, you could give her some alternate, like a bubblegum head. I, I love a bubblegum head. I always, always appreciate another one. Give her a bubblegum head. Give her some better firework effects That's as well. That was my like, look, look what the Mondo figure did. They had amazing um, firework effects. Like They were really, really good. Shout out to Tom, who did those firework effects. Really, really good. But they need to do something like that. Like Much better accessories going forward. Because I think like the, the second wave of X-Men 97 figures, I will have came with alternate head sculpts and accessories. So let's do more accessories, please. And yeah, any Jubilee though, any Jubilee. Do it in a Generation X costume. Maybe she's going to lead Generation X. Maybe we'll get a spin-off Generation X 98. Who knows? I'm well, here for it all. Just going off what Rich said. So if we look here, Cyclops came with an alternative head. Execution, it didn't, but he is all brand new. But he's got a dildo arm. Look at that. He has got dildo, a arm. dildo arm. That is very <laughs> impressive. Um, <laughs> Magneto has an interchangeable head. Uh, Jean Grey has an interchangeable head. Nightcrawler has an interchangeable head and uh, Madeline Pryor doesn't, but she does come with a little baby, possibly oh, stable. Bebe. Yeah, so bebe. so that's not bad going in regards to accessories. Like you said, that's what we like to see. Uh, Doom Customs back at it again. Doom Dune Customs. Customs donated so $50. Choosing between Beast, Jubilee anymore. and Sunspot is like trying to choose arms, legs or genitals. Doing customs. I, I ran out of words, my friend. Thank you so much. He says, choosing between Beast, Jubilee and Sunspot is like trying to choose arms, legs or genitals. Now, Doing Customs, I'm now curious what would you pick? In, we, so, if those were your 
choices in what order same question for the chat all right this is the type of content you're getting tonight what would you choose i think i've got to have genitals right so genitals would be well, one I, one. I would choose executioner because you've got arm legs and a dildo <laughs> arm you've got all three for there come on i'd go genitals arms and then legs because i could have a wheelchair and still have arms and genitals i think that's where i'm going <laughs> <laughs> Look, he it was Doom Customs' suggestion. Doom Customs, let me let us know what, what preference. You don't have the super chat either. Is that the next poll? <laughs> which which would you prefer? <laughs> uh, anyway, Richard was making a good point about the extra head. And again, where's David Evan and Smith? They love extra head. So there you go. So I think a jubilee with an extra head school would be a good shout. But I do think they would have to retool the arms. The legs would obviously need to be pinless now compared to what we've got there. Shorts like could be longer. And again, maybe a, a re-sculpted jacket. Soft goods would be nice, but we know we know that's not happening, unfortunately. I'd like them to prove us wrong, but uh, I doubt it. But uh, yeah, so Jubilee, she's got to be high potential. Beast and Jubilee have to be there. For the love of God, please complete this list. If Hasbro team, if you're lurking, just I'll email you that list from Jimmy Boy. Just please complete that team. There it is. Where is it gone? There it is. Complete it, all right? So Beast and Jubilee are the two you need. Okay, so moving on from Beast and Jubilee, who who may have been biased for me and Rich, not going to lie. Beast and Jubilee are popular on this channel. Who's next? Well, hopefully they don't kill this person, uh, kill Jubilee to make room for this new younger X-Men. But someone who wasn't in the previous animated show, who's now essentially going to be a big part of this new X-Men team is Sunspot. Now, Sunspot, of course, has a couple of different looks. Uh, we've got Sunspot in Marvel Legends as well, uh, in his powered-up look, not based off any animation of such, but um, he will fit in nicely with, like, your... Who are, who are, I've got him with the X-Factor or New Mutants at the minute. Is that X-Factor? Um, X-Force. He's in his X-Force uniform. Oh, okay, yeah. They're, they're all blurged together on my shelf behind me. But um, this is different to the comic look. Cause in the comic look, he's wearing the red and blue and then it's just the head and like the hands that are all blacked out so this they've sort of just made his whole body shadowy and then sort of with the light effect around it so that would seem like is that hard to do in legends form or would they just release a completely like black plastic figure with a bit of blue shading on it like which version here if they were to give a sun spot which version here is more likely from hasbro and marvel legends bridge I'm, I'm guessing maybe both, because, I mean, they've already done two Magnetos. So I think, you know, if if X-Men 97 is a hit, I mean, they're already getting a second season. So there's nothing to say. They're going to stop at three waves. There might be more. So I'd guess we'd get the, the Sunspot look in his, like, casual clothes first, I would imagine. And then maybe we'd get the, uh, with him using his powers. Because, I mean, that harkens back to his original look in New Mutants 1, where he was just, like, you know, he was a Sunspot. So, like... He was all black and the, like the sun's rays like glow off him type of thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess in that's what they would do is do both versions of it. And again, yeah, it probably would be like all black, a bit of like shading on it, like some blue bits and the red eye, the red eyes, yellow eyes as well, like that kind of thing. But I think we'll get that look first because that seems to be in all the promo art as well. I do think they could basically just repaint the one we've currently got. Not saying this is a good idea, but they could just repaint the current one we've got black. Uh, with the south shading on it, I guess. Not that that's what I'd want. Not saying that's what I want. I'm just trying to think what would Hasbro do. And unfortunately, I mean, that's the they, type of thing they'd do. There seems to be some, like, there seems to be, like, some kind of neck collar going on there and some boots as well, like, yeah. in the silhouette. They do have that like, on the other costume, though, too. Yeah. Yeah, may, maybe so. But, they, like, these seem more, like, this, he's a lot younger than that version, right? He's more like a teenager. So yeah. I think they would do, like, some kind of, like, different look hopefully with it but again it would be an easy one so they could just repaint like just a generic body and just you know put a collar around it and yeah. paint that black because you're not going to see anything so yeah i'm, I'm curious again I, we don't know we don't know if some spots even going to be made maybe they look at this and think ah oh, too difficult to execute in figure form or maybe he's not going to be a bigger part of the show as we assume he is again i'm sure yeah. hasbro have been fed information that we don't have so and um, just to say as well, like in Wave 2, we've already got Madeline and Executioner. We've shown up in none of the promo art yet. So there's obviously characters that they haven't revealed yet who are going to be showing up as well. So by the time the show airs, there may be a lot more 
characters, all different looks as well. All the X-Men maybe get different looks that we all want as well. So we'll have to wait and see a little bit. Yeah, we shall see. But based off what information we have now, Sunspot does seem like potential to be for a way free. But again, there's a different look. Just just in the chat, while well, before we move on from Sunspot, which look would you prefer? Uh, powered up or civilian? Powered up or civilian? Let me know in the chat. I'll read a couple out. Uh, and while you're typing that, all right, powered up or civilian, which look would you prefer in your Marvel Legends collection? I'll just read out what people would like. Uh, Adam, Adam Batman Moran is 100% with me. He says, I'm with Dan, wheeling around with my arms and my dick fully intact. See? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay's Toy Collection UK says I'm having to approve a lot of comments with the word dildo in that YouTube filter now. Thank you very much uh, to my admin there doing the work for me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Lady Max says genitals for arms and legs. I don't. I don't even. I'm trying to picture that. I, maybe I shouldn't try and picture that. Genitals for arms and legs. That's a lot of genitals. Um, and Doom Customs also confirmed is with me genitals arms and then legs see it was the right answer am i wrong in that answer though rich why would you want genitals and legs and no arms you'd just be like oh my god I've, i can't I touch you can't, you can't really do <laughs> why would this i want to touch so, myself this though, right? so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um okay i'm reading the chat now let me go jump to the chat as it goes good got, just get yeah, to go to the chat <laughs> We've got a we've got a super chat from uh, Friday's been been a bit slow to it though, but is that Lucius? Lucius? Am I really Luscious left Luscious? foot. Luscious left foot. Oh, okay. Luscious left foot says I would love an animated Cable and Sebastian Shaw in Wave Three. Hopefully, uh, Strad makes an appearance in the new show. We can have a shot at getting a figure of her soon. I would love a shard. That Bishop's sister who has been like. Uh, she had a Toy Biz figure back in the day on that flying uh, missile flyer. But yeah, she was a big part. She was around in um, the X-Men animated TV show more than the comics. And then they brought her back into X-Factor with the hologram. Oh, she was a great character. There you go. Look. Friday's going to read it out. Thank you so much. Luscious Left Luscious Foot left donated $10. I would love an animated Cable and Sebastian Shaw in Wave 3. Hopefully, Shard makes an appearance in the new show so we can have a shot at getting a figure of her soon. Yeah, great suggestions. And thank you so much for the super chat as well, Luscious Left Foot. Is your right foot just as luscious? I'm always curious. Um, and again... Well, is it made of a genital? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, there's Sebastian Short. He's in the show. Confirmed. He could be. And you know they like to reuse bits and pieces when they can. And the previous way to get Sebastian Shaw was with that uh, San Diego Comic-Con box set. So in their mind, they may think, oh, okay, here's a reason to re-release him in a more... Uh, sort of open format without it being behind that exclusive because if obviously those exclusives are like 100 plus pounds compared to the 20 pound he would be separately same with them a frost as well but again we will discuss them in a second let's just read out what people would prefer powered up or civilian i'll move away from the genital talk uh sunspot had a blind bag bag clip says uh phil jones that's true so he's on about yeah. the the new blind bag. So, of course, uh, that means they are pushing him in regards to product. Um, so he probably does have a decent part in the show. Uh, Ernie says powered up. The ba Bachelor, uh, Black Chiller says, uh, I always wanted a powered down look for my shelf since uh, we have a powered up already. Yeah, powered down would be very nice. I think I might prefer powered down, to be fair, just to have that different version. But I... I I believe that is uh, uh, Lorenz. Shout out Lorenz. He's probably at school watching us on his iPad or while the well, kids are learning. Let's not ruin their education. Uh, Jamie says, I can be greedy and say both. Uh, Lucius Left Foot says, Powered Up. Figure Clay of the Apples is Powered Up. Doing Custom, Powered Up with the Unpowered Second Head. Oh, I like that idea. Uh, cute Court, Powered Up. Definitely Powered Up. It's an iconic look. Uh, powered Up, says Derek. Um, Chilly, Chill Rhino says, Power. Uh, Arvin says, give me both, maybe one regular, at least one store exclusive because Hasbro got a Hasbro. Um, so, yeah, it seems like Powered Up would be the obvious choice there uh, for, for would you say Powered Up as well, Rich? Like you, you, I think that's what you did sort of allude to. Yeah, yeah I, I'd like a Powered Up version, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. So there you go, Sunspot, high potential for Wave 3. Next up, Morph. Now, the last time we got Morph in the sort of animated format was for the first time in the VHS line. And it's a nice looking more figure. We got both a sort of evil morph later on in the series. And then we got the sort of 
morph from the X-Men from the first couple of episodes as well. I've chose to go for the evil morph on my display. I just think the face has a bit more character, looks more fun. And also, we didn't get too many villains, so I have him standing next to uh, Mystique and uh, Mr. Sinister. But he has the Sal shading on. He does have that Vulcan body, though, underneath the jacket. Um, I do like this morph figure. Could they just re-release this, Rich? Because looking at the figure on the screen and looking at this... You change the arms, or the hands, sorry, for yellow gloves, and change the head, and that's the figure right there, right? Simple as that. Without the sound they could have, They could update the elbows, give it double-jointed elbows, I suppose, couldn't they? That would they be could. the one thing they could do. Did they do that with Gambit? No. Gambit had, was the one that did, they didn't change at all. Gambit was a straight-up re-release. But the second season, the second series seems to have more... Everyone's updated, I think. Everyone has something updated in there. Whether in the first series, it was like, Rogan Storm still had single jointed elbows as well, and Gambit was just straight up replate with a new head. So, yeah, I I do think this without cell shading, and then with that, you could basically make this morph design now in figure form because you could take your AOA morph. Let's try that. Hang on, my AOA box of figures is here because I haven't gone back on the shelf. Let's try and do this right now. I'll put a poll up on my Instagram to say, should my AOA figures go back on the shelf? And I think I was told to retire them. So instead... What? I... Who told you that? Who told you that? I think, Wait, it, was Bring Toys to work. I think it was I think it was Michael. Blame Michael from Bring Toys to work. Fuck but you, I... Michael. I have a box here of... Uh, this is all AOA figures and a couple of other random X-Men. Um, I haven't quite made space for them on the shelf. But anyway, Morph is in here. So there's the AOA Morph with that head sculpt. So I'm going to take that head sculpt off. And I'm sure this people have already done this in their collections anyway. So this isn't me being a genius. This is just me copying other people. And I'm going to put this head on this body. And I'm going to move his hands behind his back. Because obviously he's not wearing the yellow gloves. And there you go. And yet it is, guys. It's the exclusive <laughs> reveal from Series 3. It is, of course, Morph coming to you on the cell shaded background. Exclusive reveal. First year, Dan, who reveals... <laughs> watermark going on this logo in a minute if you carry it back please links in the description thank you very much <laughs> yeah screenshot this and just confuse the instagram community because you know what instagram's like things spread like wildfire um but there you go that is your your x-men 97 morph uh we have just created here live on the show there you go so there's just there's your screenshot moment hang on i'll do a, i'll do a clickbait your screenshot picture there you go. Did you get that? Oh, good, good job. You should, good do, job. you should do it and put up as a short. Be like, wow, this is my exclusive reveal. <laughs> uh, anyway, there you go. So my point being that this is very easily done. Like I've just done it myself and I didn't even need to phone up a Chinese factory. So could could this be in way three high potential rich in this this exact way? I, I think, and I mean, if they did this right, like with all the alternate heads, you could give more of like some characters who maybe wouldn't get a figure like Val Cooper or Senator Kelly, you could give, maybe he's President Kelly now, you could do like characters like that, give them like alternate heads for Morph, that would be like a fun thing to do. Hang on, I've just dropped this head now, it's gone and lost oh, in the no. box. Uh, <laughs> Two-handed axe says, Dan just saved himself $25. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. Uh, I am a sucker though and do buy a lot of Marvel Legends. Uh, I'm not really a, I used to be a kit bash guy, but then like, I just can't do it. So if I'm going to kit bash something, I have to buy extras. I'm a bit weird like that. I'm not really a customizer as such. Not really my forte. Um, but uh, it does look good. Like, I do think that's doable. And high potential for Wave 3. I think I've just proved it right there. So I never liked the cell shading anyway. I was never for cell shading. I understood why they did it. Because they wanted to sort of uh, show the difference visually yeah. between comic and animated. So I understood why they did it. And the collection I've got on the shelf, I do appreciate them together. Like, I have my VHS figures. They might be on a, a lower shelf. Hang on, I'll show you here. I've moved, obviously, I've moved them out of the way. So I've got my own little separate shelf, and I put my own VHS figures on there. So that's where they will live, um, on there. So I don't mix mine up with my comic figures. I have them separately. Where do you put your VHS figures, Rich, if you have them? Jubilee I'm assuming well, um... on her own shelf. So the, I've got um, multiple VHS Jubilees. Oh, I've got, so I've got one on the Jubilee shelf, and then I've got I've got a VHS shelf as well. So all the, the all the VHS figures, 
And I got apocalypse. The apocalypse figure is on there as well. Are all yeah. together on one shelf. Agree. I've I've got the apocalypse on mine as well because it's that's the animated apocalypse, isn't it? No cell shading. Yeah, really. it's animated apocalypse. Uh, Queen Comics in the chat says greetings, Dan from your friendly neighbourhood comic shop. Hope you and Rich are doing well, my friend. We are doing great, Queen Comics. And I if you're in Queen you're Comics now, you can pick up Dead X Man. Available now. Multiple covers are available. Go and get it right now. There we there go. There you go. Comics. We were talking comics today, Queen Comics. Um. <laughs> Collecting Rush says, doesn't the AOA morph have the yellow hands? Oh, wait. He does have the yellow fisted hands. He does. Oh. I could make this even more accurate. Oh, my God. Quick. Let's redo everything I just did, but with the yellow hands. No, he's bang on. He does have the yellow hands. So, my point being, it's very obvious. They should do it. Morph should be in wave three. Don't give a cell shading, though. And uh, that way, that way, if I wanted to have... These morph heads on a non sour shaded body, little switcheroo, Rich, little switcheroo. What, what? What if they all die in the first episode and it, it is AOA? It's just a straight up oh. AOA adapter oh. going forward. Oh, that would be amazing. Imagine that. I wouldn't hate seeing an AOA adaption in animation, to be fair. I wouldn't hate they, it. They did like a little bit. Yeah. They tried to yeah. do like an AOA adaption, but it was diff a bit different with like Storm and Wolverine. But yeah, they could do AOA. All right. Anyway, there you go. So, Morph, high potential. So, who else could be in the wave, okay? So, we've got four so far, right? And they're six-figure waves. So, let's say these are pretty... We're pretty confident. One version of Sunspot, Morph is the heavy reuse character, but it's justified reuse. And again, I know people don't like that term, but again, I'm just... This is... I'm can, just, can, I, can I be, controver can yeah, I be controversial? I don't think... We'll get these four in one wave. No, I know. That's I think what I'm I think we'll get one of Beast and Jubilee and one of Sunspot and Morph. And I think they're gonna put the other two in the next wave. I think they're gonna, it's gonna like, be four waves. Like, at least four waves, at yeah. At least four waves. I've, I'm I'm pretty very confident that we're gonna get a wave three because Dan Yoon has sort of basically said we are. So yeah. but wave four I'm not so confident on. That's why I'm thinking this is your shot. This is your shot to finish the X-Men. At least give us these. You can go crazy with the other two and be more obscure, yeah. but you have to give us these. If you're right and there's a fourth wave, then I agree with you. We're not going to get all four of these in the same wave. But uh, but if it is one more wave and then they're done, then they have to. They can't miss one of these if these are all going to be the main X-Men. If they miss Jubilee or Beast Rich and then this list we've got here is forever not complete. Oh my God. Me and Jimmy Boy will be writing a, a strongly worded email. Right, so what are the other two? This is where we can speculate a little bit more based off the images that we've got so far. So we already had Luscious Left Foot say that he'd love to see a Sebastian Shaw. So apparently Mr. Sinister is going to be a big part of this. Now, again, we got Mr. Sinister in the VHS line, but it was just a repaint. Uh, I'm assuming you could retool this sort of Sinister. He looks a little bit more slick here. So Mr. Yeah. Sinister, uh, the... Uh, the Hellfire Club could be in that. Uh, there's Sebastian oh. Shaw there. Yeah, go on. Valerie. Valerie Cooper. Yeah, there Valerie she is. Cooper, government agent, X Factor, best member of um, the Peter David run of X Factor. Amazing character. She's supposed to be a bit of a bitch in this one in a business suit and a haircut that looks like a stern businesswoman, but I'd be there for a Valerie Cooper. So, what are the Marvel Legends have got that sort of pencil skirt and. There's le there's female legends with that, right? Moy Moira McTaggart, Moira, yeah. um, Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy have yeah. got like a skirt of them Sharon as well. Sharon Carter, Sharon Carter wears that like military outfit, which is similar. So again, there's yeah. potential reuse there. Again, I don't condone reuse. I'm just trying to think like Hasbro think. And they... no, no, she, she looks a bit like no Lena from WWE. Uh, oh, uh, Rusev's missus. Yeah, like when La she used Lana, to wear that, like Lana, yeah, 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 Lana, when she's with that, like business suit, yeah, but with yeah, the turtle yeah. there, yeah, she's like does. that kind of look. Yeah, she does. And she has a terrible Russian accent as well. <laughs> uh, that one day she just stops. Um, yeah, no, you're not wrong. But anyway, there's potential there. Sebastian Shaw or any of the Hellfire Club. Uh, am I? Would I be daydreaming, Rich, if I sort of suggested a Hellfire Goon, a completely pinless updated Hellfire Goon? Uh, on that, on that X Men ninety seven card back. Called, called Hank, maybe? <laughs> you said it on me. You said it on me. With come on, come on. We should have trademarked that before. Oh. Could have got money. Could have got money, Dan. Marvel's Hank. <laughs> I'm like fuck you, <laughs> Dan, Marvel. Dan who's <laughs> Hank? Dan Ah, yeah. uh, uh, look, the Hellfire Guards are on the shitty Bucky Cat body, and they're very sought after on the aftermarket due to a very popular YouTuber. 
Chalmers probably loved him, didn't he? Loved <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, clearly with me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I don't think it will happen. I'm just saying, if they were to do a Hellfire Goon on the retro card, completely pinless, update the body, not mad at it. But you should definitely let me know if you'd making that happen, all right? I'll have a whole Hellfire evolving storyline. I'd make it happen. Anyway, let's What's keep going scrolling. on with Mr. Sinister's diamond? It's in, like, it's in his chest for some reason. Yeah, it's a little bit skew if. Yeah, I don't know. Because he's got a bit of a V-neck going on, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got it. He's got it like in between his boobs. Cle- cleavage diamond he's yeah, going for. He boob boob window. He's gone for the boob window. <laughs> that's how he holds his diamond. He's just got the pecs <laughs> on, holding his diamond in place. Um, okay, I like Sinister look here. It does look a little bit more slick, a little bit more, I don't know what the word is, but... The, the cape is more streamlined as well, yeah. isn't it? It's not as bulky, so it would be interesting to see if they could do that. Yeah, yeah. So, And also, if we move along, if we're staying in the Hellfire Club realm, like the same with Mr. S- uh, Sebastian Shaw, the way we got this look for um, Emma Frost in the Marvel Legends line was in that box set. Now, again, people would always suggest... Again, none of us know if this is the reason, but because she's wearing the corset and pants... They can only do it in the sort of box But, but wait, wait, Dan. They said the same about uh, Goblin Queen, that they could never release Goblin Queen in the main line. But in a kid's TV show, in a kid's cartoon, tits are acceptable again. Hooray for tits. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Thank you, Disney. Coming soon on Disney Channel on the EU. Look, tits are a wonderful thing. They shouldn't, they shouldn't hide them. Remember that on the Disney when they used to like, draw yeah, the thing? Draw, yeah, it's yeah. Emma Frost drawing on her tits. It's like, woo. <laughs> uh, my point being... If they were to release Emma Frost single carded, like in this look, I think it would be very popular. Yeah, because she was the main event of that Hellfire box set. Because you may not be familiar with the Hellfire Club, but the majority of people know. I don't know why you wouldn't know one without the other, but you know what I'm saying. Emma Frost as a character stands on her own, and uh, yeah. I think this look is very popular. So she stands. She stands out more than the other members. She's got uh, more appealing assets, I think, to people. Than Sebastian Shaw, maybe I think like she just puts a lot forward. She could also hold a diamond. Like get a pen in there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and is that is that Callisto at the back there? That is Callisto, the Morlock leader who was in the again. Apart from Valerie, all of these are in the original run of X Men as well uh, of the animated show as well. So it's not something new. But yeah, that Callisto that would be quite an easy one to do as well. But yeah, leader of the Morlocks fighting Storm. She was a bit of a bitch on the TV show. Would be a good character to have. Yeah, and the last time we got her was in a Wolverine anniversary pack. Well, it wasn't an anniversary. It was a Wolverine pack um, that came with the... Oh, Gary, Gary brings up a good point, though, with Emma, about that bloody cape. That with a oh, cape, she would have limited... They cannot have and that heels. stupid cape. And yeah. the heels. Okay, she, needs have, terrible. She, she needs wedges and she needs a soft goods cape. Even if it costs $40, she needs a soft good bloody cape. Yeah, I, update, I updated mine. Mine's on the display. I got myself a soft goods cape and I've got her on a flight stand to prevent yeah, because I, she cannot stand on those bloody heels. So I got Emma and Celine um, yeah, uh, cosmic Celine. cape capes I got. Yeah, so Celine, shout out cosmic capes. Celine is also wearing a cosmic cape and she's crammed in there so she sort of sits, uh, stands on her heels. But uh, yeah, you've got to update that cape. To be fair, I think that's a custom Emma Frost and not even the one from the Hellfire set. Um, where is the one from the Hellfire set? It might still be yeah, in the box. Yeah, you've got a different head on it. Oh no, you've got the, the Walgreens head on it, the alternate Walgreens Yeah, head. no, you, you're completely right. Sorry, my bad. Um, I think the Emma Frost is still in a box here. Let's have a look. I don't do like... kid bashes. I don't do them. Straight in on an Emma Frost <laughs> kid <laughs> bash. Yeah, just expose myself. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, okay, I don't often do kit bashes, maybe is what I said. Here's the Emma Frost we're referring to. Quick, another there exclusive. Way free, Emma Frost revealed. There you go. Again, shitty cape, shitty heels, but it's a look for Emma Frost that I think people would uh, appreciate. Because it's comic accurate, all right? I'm just, that's why. This, this why. I didn't write the comics, draw the comics. There you go. Yeah, G- Gigi Story says Rebel 10 Emma Capes as well. Yeah, if you're in the USA or Rebel 10 ships internationally, brilliant Capes as well. Absolutely love Rebel 10. Yeah, I've got a couple of Rebel 10s on the display. Very, very nice. I've got a Scottish Cause Customs as well. So all Kid bashes is everywhere with Dan Who. <laughs> look, yeah, you can, look, look at this though. Look at this, is good. <laughs> this is, this is a cloak and dagger. So again, this shelf isn't complete yet. I'm still working on this shelf. But this is cloak and dagger and cloak has a soft goods cloak come on that looks better than the shit we got with legends right yeah that looks lovely 
Yeah, so sometimes a little a little kit bash is worth it. Sometimes. But Okay, I'll take back what I said earlier. I didn't realise I had all of these on display. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. So we did get uh, uh, Callisto, as, as I said, but there's no reason they couldn't put her in this card again. Uh, and then scrolling down, it wasn't really... Oh, I, yeah, okay, I guess... So we've talked about Sunspot and Morph. Uh, and I think Cable... We don't know how much of a role he's going to have in the show. In the in the original show, he's in and out, he's in and out, he's in and out. But this isn't... Like, you've always said you want a new Cable, but you want the yellow and... The, yeah. the yellow and blue where this has got more of the greens and it's a little bit so would you he's obviously mean... been on a cut as well because he's simmed down quite a bit as well from like the big cable from the original tv yeah. show he's like he's joined the crossfit this cable have and has been like doing uh aerobics rather than muscle pumping with pouches hasn't he yeah the pouches maybe it's just the big shoulders are coming down now we do have two modern day marvel legend cables um I've got both mine on the shelf. Uh, I do prefer... The, uh, which one? The, I can't remember. Both of them came in Builder Figure Waves, if I remember correctly. I can't remember the Builder Figures. Are. What, that's a question for the chat. You are pretty good at this game. What Builder Figure Waves did the two previous cables come with? Because I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, I've got both of them on display, and I prefer one over the One's in, like, oh, one of the X-Force Waves, isn't it? The yeah, classic I've, I've got, one. I've got that one on the main X-Men display. That's my favourite one there. With, uh, yeah, with that's Deadpool. my favourite one as well. And then I've got from the X Fact uh, X Force, I've gone with that one. I think that was the first one we got. Yeah, that's more like the updated Hulk yeah. with Baby Hulk. And then we, I think we got that in a Deadpool wave. So was that the yeah. Sauron Builder figure wave? Maybe. Sasquatch, was it? Oh, yeah, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Okay, there Sasquatch you go. Warlock. Wave. Warlock and Sasquatch. Or Juggernaut and Sasquatch. See, people suggesting different things. Um, good morning, Dan, says Chi Chi Collects. Dan and Rich uh, and chat. Glad I caught the stream live. I'd love a new cable in the new wave. Shout out Chi Chi Collects all the way on the other side of the planet. Chi Chi Collects is essentially in the future. They're going to know what's in this wave before us. Um, Warlock and had one Juggernaut and Sasquatch. Juggernaut had the beige cable, I think. Uh, Bishop and Sauron. Bishop was Sauron. Oh, okay. Okay. Warlock. Yeah, see. It's a long time ago, people. It's a long time ago. About five or six years ago, at least, right? Has to be. See, this is where Brandon came in for his uses because he knew all the ways. Brandon all. was pretty good at that game, yeah. Brandon was a pretty. I'm never good. People always get me in the comments of my reviews. They're like, "That isn't the first time we've seen this this torso. This torso was used." I'm like, "All right, calm down. I'm I'm not very good at that game. I don't usually care that much." Um, yeah, who are they fucking in the night? And they land. That's what they fucking fucking in the land. That's what they doing. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> not if they chose legs and genitals then they're exactly talking. then they're just like yes. <laughs> ah shit I can't even ah yeah that's what you're hello latecomers <laughs> welcome to Dad Who Life <laughs> look they know what they're getting something for now it's all good it's all good it's all good right uh, how are you going to handle the Swifties says Greg Finster oh they're talking about talking about American football I think do you know the game where they throw and they catch and they throw and they oh. catch Taylor Swift is on Super Bowl isn't she doing the Super, Super Bowl she's in the show? Super Bowl I think they should, they've, they've picked her for the starting team um, did, I, did I tell you I did my law school uh, dissertation on the Jan the fallout from Super Bowl, which I, I called it the fallout from Super Bowl as well. Tick, about Jan tick, tick gate. Yeah, about Janet Jackson ah. and the censorship in the American media and all that. Justin Fun Timberlake times. was doing it with her, right? When that yeah, happened, Justin yeah. Timberlake was, and Justin Timberlake had no blowback, and Janet Jackson got cancelled. One of the first early cancellations. Uh, he never got his two did he? He didn't. No, kids were watching. There you go. Brandon is watching. I, I trust Brandon. Brandon says Bishop was the Sauron wave. Yeah, Brandon, that's not what we're asking. What's the, what, the, the two cables? Where did the two cables come from? That's the, what I'm asking. I'm so confused. I need to know who is right because people are giving... 90s cable was Sasquatch wave too. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. See, I'm... Okay. 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 I'm there. Um... Queen Comet says, reuse is very common with all torn cord companies. It allows them to put out more characters while keeping the cording cost down. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm very aware uh, of the, the the politics and the decisions made. Uh, don't get me wrong. I would always prefer newly tooled elements to characters to make them more accurate to the representations they are meant to be portraying in plastic. Of course I would. But I also understand I don't mind it if it makes sense for the character. That's why I can't get how Hasbro couldn't get Power Rangers Lightning Collection to work out. 
I don't. Because yeah, essentially, same, it's the repaint, same. Same repaint. Yeah, head, I don't. I just head. don't get it. Repaint, different head, repaint. Because they just uh, they took ages to complete teams. They should have done more box sets. They should. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a question for another stream. Um, but back to this cable. So, would you want this cable, or would you rather them not do cable in this X Men ninety seven wave and get the cable you want? I love cable, so I want all cables. Cables oh, okay. is probably my... Is cable my favourite X-Men man? Yeah, I think cable is probably my favourite X-Men man. Oh, there you I go. love cable and Bishop. I like men from the future, Dan. They, from they the are my future. thing. <laughs> men from the future. So there we go. C G cable. Look out, Chi Chi Collects. <laughs> <laughs> he is in the future. That's true. Um, so there you go. So uh, that is, I do think cable's potential as well. High potential. Always a popular character. Um... I think that Hasbro know that. It's been a while since we've had one. And this design is different. It's similar, of course, as Cable does have his own aesthetic. But it is different enough compared to the ones we've already got for them to justify it. They could always give us two heads, give us one with a decent sort of eye glint. Um, so we've got Bishop. And look, let's be honest, the action figure we've got of Bishop looks very accurate compared to that picture there. Yeah. So... The shop is a really good figure as well. Yeah, one so of my cables, favorite ones. Cables, high potential. Uh, what about Forge? Now, we did get... We got a Forge back in the Builder Figure wave. Again, can't remember what Builder Figure. And then we've recently got Forge last year as part of those free packs. I believe he came with Gambit and someone else. I can't remember. Uh, but we got him as recent as last year. Pinless, updated Forge. Looks very nice. Part of the Uncanny X-Men. Is it too soon to get enough of more Forge? That looks basically the same. No, because I like Forge was one of the first figures I got back in the time of his day. So I've always yeah, had like a used to kick his leg, used to like kick out, you pushed his leg and his leg his cybernetic leg would kick out. So I've always loved Forge. It's quite an easy way to like use like the blue and gold and just put it on the new car, but with like a different face, giving some big guns and everything. But yeah, I love Forge and you you've got to fit him into that. Like again, he's he's on, on X factor in the x-men animated tv show and then in the future he's the one who's like sending like bishop and shard back to the past as well so he's got like a big role in it so yeah i'd love a forge in this style and he's got look he's got his like pouches going down that's a yeah. that's a new added addition to it's it true. that's something different very true and uh, you can see nightcrawler just peeking through there and nightcrawler we are getting in the second wave so we've got nightcrawler we've got bishop so there are potential in this little lineup of figures here. Now, again, I don't know why these characters are paired together in the promo images. These are just the images they've shown at Comic-Con. So, yeah, based on based on these images, Rich, so let's just say these four are locked in. All right, we know we're dreaming here, but let's just say these four are locked in. Based off the images and what we know of the show so far, which, again, isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, who would you, just selfishly for yourself, who would you like to fill the last two gaps here to be released on the very nice card back for X-Men 97 to complete this line? Oh, so I would put Cable in there. Okay. I think he would go he would go well, especially with Baby Cable, with Maddy, with his, uh, and he goes with like Bishop from the future, Future Man as well. Oh, I guess technically. My future man, future man Cube. I guess technically we've already got Cable then, hey? Right? We, got ba we hey. might have Baby Cable baby there, cable, yeah. Yeah, technically. So, yeah, I'd put Cable in there. And I think Cable's a popular character as well. So yeah, people would I buy agree, the Cable. Um, and then I think it needs a villain, doesn't it? So, I mean, going off all the promo and no stuff. No females like... either so far. Oh, I guess Jubilee. So maybe another female. I mean, yeah, I would I would love a Val Cooper. But I don't think they're going to do a Val Cooper. I think it would probably be Mr. Sinister. Going off like what the promos have said. He seems to be taken over as like the main villain. But then again, there could be another villain behind the scenes that they haven't even revealed yet. Someone new to the TV show, like Executioner, yeah. like Goblin Queen. So I guess we could wait and see. But based off what we've seen, going off what we've seen, I would go with uh, Mr. Sinister. Yeah, I like it. I, I, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Uh, just to be different, I will say Emma Frost. An updated version of this Emma Frost look. I think people would be very happy to get that. Uh, and it also adds it's a it's a way to get her single packed and it adds another popular female to the line. And then one more I will say I think Sinister's a good shout, but because it's Dan Who reviews, I'm gonna say a how fire guard just because I can. Uh so there you go. That's that's what me and Rich are saying. Uh for the potential way free. And again, the caveat on top of this 
is we don't know anything. This is just us having a fun conversation based off today's pre-order. But we've already talked about today's pre-order enough. So I thought, let's just think forward instead, okay? So, but Wave 3 has got high potential, all right? So these four characters should be in Wave 3. Whether they are or not, we'll wait to find out. But they should be. So if you guys are in chat, go on. You do know does know something. It's Rectangular. And everyone should check out this Saturday when Rectangular reveals Wave 3 of the X-Men 97 <laughs> with... Woo! No pressure, no pressure, Todd. But you need to reveal <laughs> Wave 3 Saturday now, all right? Figure it out. Give, you, give your guy a call. Give him a call. Um, so same question to you then. Last question before we get out of here. Uh, pick two characters to fill these gaps. And again, don't go crazy and just pick two random X-Men characters that make no sense. Based off what we know on the animated show and based off the, the small bits of details we've been given so far, including these pictures, what two characters would you like to fill the gap here? If these are the four we think are set in stone, even though we don't, but they should be, what two characters would you like in here? And we'll read a couple out to see the show out. Okay, so last bit of involvement for today's show uh, to see you out. And my count has disappeared. It's like no one's watching us. So this, where's it gone? It's invisible, invisible woman. She's invisible. been playing around black. I don't know, it's broke. Is it on a different, no, it's just completely gone. All right, never mind. Maybe everyone's, maybe everyone's left. Is everyone gone? Anyone's still here? Hello? I don't uh, hello. Know. I don't know. Because I don't have the YouTube page open. So without that ticker, I don't know. So who knows? I can't see people the chat, are responding, so yeah, I think that is worth no, it is working. It's, it. it's all good. Um, okay, people have written some stuff. So uh, Gary says villains. Well, I'll put the I'll put the chat up for this last bit. I'll put the chat up. Um, well, there we go. So you, you just see, want reassure us. There's people in the yeah, chat. That's, that's what you it's want, doesn't it? Look, people are watching me. I promise. <laughs> um, right. So Gary says villains for the last two, uh, and Cloud to answer Gary's suggestion says Sinister and Emma. Uh, Loren says Shaw and Frost, which would be great, but would they put two Hellfire characters in the same wave? I don't know. Well, I wouldn't be mad at it. I did pick Emma and uh, Hellfire Guard myself, so I'm on the same page. Uh, Psylocke and Cable, says Mr. F Smith. Now, Psylocke was never in the animated show, and I don't think she's in any of the promo material either. So is that just a... Is he just is Mr. Smith reaching there, or does he know something we don't? No, I think um, Psylocke has shown up on like a uh, lot, like log lines or something from episodes. So I think oh. Psylocke is appearing somewhere. Yeah, no, she never appeared in the original show, so I would like to. Make yeah, she did, she did, she did, she did. Yeah, she appears in um, the, oh, it's the one she, with like yeah. Apocalypse and the Phalanx, and she comes along. Yeah, yeah, it's not in the main. She's not in the main squad anyway. It's my, my, my point. My point. Yeah. Um, Cable and Emma Frost says Arvin. Jamie says Emma and Sinister. Figure Cave Collectibles says Sabretooth and Juggernaut. He hasn't changed his mind from the start of the show. All of that convinced and he's like, no, <laughs> sticking with my two picks, even though they're not got no attachment. To be fair, they would be two great picks and I wouldn't be against it. But good luck fitching Juggernaut on that regular card. You'd have to get the deluxe card out for sure. Uh, Random Havoc says Cable and Sebastian Shaw. Uh, Big Will Pixels and Plastic says I would take a Cable and Colossus in the jeans and tank top. Uh, Cute Cool says Exodus. Is Exodus going to be in the show? I wouldn't be mad at it, but we do need an Exodus, that is for sure. That is one of those big X-Men villains we're just yet to have in, in any figure form. Uh, Daniel S says, I want a Cable and Emma Frost. Uh, James says Psylocke and Cable. Uh, Sadiko says, where else? Well, it's disappeared. He says Cable and Psylocke to fill the gap in any time. Greg says Sinister and Cable. Kevin says Cable and Sinister. Doom says... Uh, yes, it missed my super chat, Emma uh, and Sinister. Oh, we missed your super chat. Oh, no. Stupid Friday. I found it. I found it. Don't you worry. Okay. Doom Custom says, pop on an invisible woman head, an art made body, and you have a Valkyrie, Valerie Cooper. Is that true? Can we try that? Who is it? Pop on an invisible woman head on an art made body. Let's do that. Right. I've got an art made. Shout out Figure Cave Collectibles. To help me get an art extra an art made. And then, who is it? Invisible Woman. I've got her somewhere too. Now, which Invisible Woman? You want about the good... Head? Not the screaming ugly one. Don't you dare, Daniel. Um, Keep away. Mm, where are the... Uh, where are my Walgreens ones? No, wait. They're there. She's there. She's right. I'm fucking staring at her. Can I use that one? The Dan Slot one? Will that do? Yeah, give it a go. All right. Remember, I don't do kit bashing people, all right? <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. What? There you go. Is that is that Valerie Cooper? Valerie Cooper? There you go. Does that work? Just need some glasses, and she's there. Have I got any glasses anywhere? Moira. Moira's got glasses. Do they come off? I don't know where Moira is. What about Leon? Have we got Leonardo from the um, new to? Oh, what was this thing? Um, Smithers. Smithers from the World of Simpsons. He's got glasses. He has. He has. But I don't know if they come off. Oh wait, they, they do. Okay. Because I've lost mine. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is one of those things where I'm gonna knock down the whole shelf to do this. All right. Cool. I got him. He's right. He's not wrong. There's Mr. Smithers with glasses. Right. I think, oh shit! I think I glued mine on, Rich. Fuck's sake! Ah, oh, because I was clever. Sensible. I was clever. Yeah, I glued mine on. But you're not wrong. Okay, imagine them on that. <laughs> Sorry, Doom Customs. I did not mean to miss your super chat. You know I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And um, we tried to kit bash you with Valerie Cooper, but uh, and, it, it might yeah. have failed. Maybe. Join us on our next stream. Um, <laughs> kit bashing Dan Kambucha next on <laughs> yeah. Dan Who. Uh, there's lots of great suggestions from the chat. Hopefully you can see yours up on the screen as we go through. I'm going to end the poll right now. But Beast was the favourite from the start and he ends strong. Except dare we suggest. And dare we give a terrible suggestion. What did he Sorry, say? Dare we. What he said a terrible thing that I removed. Oh, you removed it. Okay, I don't know what it says then. Oh, God, I can view <laughs> deleted message. Let's see. Oh, he said... Oh, oh, okay, I've seen it. Oh. <laughs> I've seen it. Oh. Um, okay. Just a dagger to my heart. Right, Beast, I'm ending the poll. So Beast, 34. What X Men character do you want in the X Men in the X Men ninety seven wave three? Okay, which one do you want the most? Hasbro, are you taking notes? Beast with forty three percent, Jubilee with twenty three percent, joint with Sunspot. So she did claw her way back, and Sunspot and Jubilee are now twenty three percent each, and then Morph is in eleven percent. But remember, you can make your own Morph at home. Like I was basically Blue Peter. You can do it yourself right now. <laughs> if you're in the US, you don't know what that reference is. Basically, a kids show where they did arts and crafts and they did it themselves. That's that's all you need to know. Um, but there you go. Ending poll. Beast wins. And if you want me to review the Beast first again, I'm fine with that. I don't mind that. All right, I'll do that. It's all right. I'll do that because I love Beast. There you go. So there you go. So that is what we think is happening. But whether it happens or not, to be fair, usually when we do these things, Rich, we're way off because Hasbro just sit back and laugh at these streams and go, ha, they're idiots. We'd never do the right thing and then give us the, the nonsense that we don't want. So we was we was really good with the last We We nearly had all of no, it. To be fair, with this, this X-Men. Not and, the, and those Wolverine sets, we were really good with them as well. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. So that's what we've got so far. Wave three. Potential. Come on, just, just tell us it's happening. You don't have to tell us who's in it. Just give us that confidence it's happening and it will encourage people to jump in because they know they're actually building a little collection here. When it's only one wave, you're always a bit hesitant. Two waves is a little bit more encouraging, but three raves. And then you've got, what, 16, 18 figures. Yeah, 18 figures on the shelf. That's a shelf right there. That's a collection. Give us that encouragement. Confirm we're getting wave free and then announce them when you want. But just put a little tweet out, Dan Yoon. Just go, do you know what? I've heard ya. Wave three is happening now. Pre-order wave two and get on with it. And people would. Give us that confidence. Wave three is happening. We want to hear it. Um, Rich, always a good time talking X-Men. Um, I've got myself a nice new Valerie Cooper for the shelf. I'll put her on my display that I'm still building. That's amazing. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. As you can see, I'm getting closer. Um, I have uh, basically, look, it's absolutely stacked with Legends at the minute. Basically, the top is a bit of a multiverse, comic, riders, MCU. Then we got MCU, MCU, and then we go comic and comic. I did finish this side, so you haven't really seen. I need to move my boxes. But um, I've gone with cosmic, cosmic, and then some more X-Men stuff, as you know. So, yeah, cosmic. X-Men, extra X-Men stuff. Oh, uh, but they think quite the front down. Yeah, she is. Front Try to row. win me back. Try to ring me back. Front you are. row. Front row, Monet. She was on my top 10, Rich. Did you not see? Uh, I did. She was number 10, Dan. That's why I'm here today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh, by the way, to spoiler alert, I did open my Guardians. There they are. I thought, look, I thought to myself, Rich, I'm never going to fucking sell them, are they? And like, I'm the oh, they look nice together. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. And I put, and I put um, Iron Man. So he used to be a backer. And he's now a fronter on a fright stand, and he looks great. That is the Space Iron Man from 2014, so there you go. Did you put Sp Space Venom and... Uh, oh, you've got, you've got Captain Marvel at the back. Can you see there, Space yeah. Venom? I can see him. Yeah, yeah. And I've got my own custom throne for Thanos. 
Amazing. Titus was back row before and now he's front and centre. Well, in the... Well, he's not. He's still back row. (laughs) You can still see him. You can still see him before he was in the shadows. But look, the void's in the display. Do you, know oh, how hard, good. do you know how hard it was to get him on the display and not fall over? But anyway, Cosmic. So it's like Cosmic and sort of as Guardians over there, which are sort of Cosmic people as well. So there you go. So that's there. So I'm done on this side of the room. That's confusing. So I need to do this side now. So this side will be like Avengers and villains and street level Ooh. and stuff like that. So there you go. I'm getting there. I'm nearly, I'm nearly there, people. I said end of January, but I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late. But I'll get there. I'll get there. So if you want to join uh, me on the after show, we are going to go live right now on the after show for the Dan Who Deluxe. Uh, then you know what to do, people. Become a channel member at the Who Crew Deluxe tier. If you are already a channel member, just showing some love. I appreciate you. You don't have to change. But if you wanted to have a little bit extra content every single Thursday, we do an extra half an hour on the after show where we invite you guys on as guests. So it's basically a pre-mini Legends and Liquor where you can come on and talk about us let us know if you'd rather have legs genitals or arms on the after show that'd be a great <laughs> conversation um <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um so yeah rich tell the good people where they can find you i'm going pressing wrong buttons sure. uh, there you go where can the good people find you online well apparently i live in the cinema now so we're watching every movie out i've seen them all seen them all can't wait for our guy this week finally a new movie that i want to see and then, of course, Madam Web's coming soon. Not sure why I like that, but it's just too. I just really like the Madam yeah, Web movie. I Come on. I didn't, I didn't, didn't, you don't seem like the type to like Madam Web, so that's odd, odd choice. Uh, surprisingly, not on, not on pre-order yet. I don't know why. Obviously, there's going to be a big demand, but you can't pre-order them anyway. And do you know what? Not a poster up in the showcase cinema. Posters for Craven. No posters for Madam no, Web. Probably, don't know why. They're trying to bury Madam why? Web before it happens. That's why poor Madam Web. But Man. if you've got a girlfriend out there, Rimmel from London, I'll do a mascara and lip gloss in Madam Web shades for you all. Best promotion ever. <laughs> Look, it's clearly working on the girls because, as I said, Amanda's seen it and she's wanted to see it. So it clearly works. You should get, get her some lip gloss for, for Valentine's oh, well, Day. Find it. Ma- send me the ma- link. Shade of red. Send me the link. We're both <laughs> we'll wearing the next stream the just to promote it a bit more. <laughs> Uh, right, we appreciate everyone in the chat. If you are going to follow us over, the link is in the description as always, but I will post it in the chat right now. I always forget to do this, but the after show will continue. So if you are part of that extra tier supporting the channel, click that link and we're going to go over there right now uh, and talk some more nonsense. Uh, Dune Customs, can I just say thank you once again for all your super chats and contribution uh, to the channel. Honestly, he keeps the lights on in this household. I don't know how the man does it, but I love him for it. So Dune Customs, I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, and everyone else just supporting the channel. All right, I appreciate you. Hopefully, we'll have some new legend stuff to talk about soon. As they've sort of went through everything that was revealed now at the last, um, lo- at the last live, wasn't it? It was all, yeah. it was all X Men '97, and it was Wolverine. All of that is up for pre-order now. Everything's up for Apart pre-order from the little fire butt plug thing. We yes. don't know what that's for. We don't Who's know what the butt plug for. We, a fire butt plug doesn't sound like a good idea, by the way, people. If that is ever pops up on your feeds, don't do that. Um, and also. I didn't want to break the news now, but but Madam Webb has just joined the Fantastic Four. She she's in. She's in. There was a space open, and fa- and Madam Webb is in. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. I've got a more. I've got a better head swap for Madam Webb before we go. This is what I'm going to leave people with. I'm just. I just want to leave our audience rich with a nice image. Before... No, you can put Aunt May. Oh, I know we can put Aunt May on. I know. I can see no already. <laughs> just leaving our audience with this image before we just get out of here. All right. All right. You just have a good night. All right, and if you've got arms and genitals, you know what to do. All right, have some fun. <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> uh, and we'll get out of here. Rich, give them away. Tell the people where they can find you online. You can find me at Displayed Once on Instagram. I'm there promoting the Madam Web movie, sponsored by Sony. Hey, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, and uh, and I'll be I'll review stuff on the channel again soon. I promise. One day. But right now, I'm still live streaming and putting figures on shelves. All right. But I'll see you on the next one. Follow me over on the after show. And if Word wanna... of the day is Kit Bash. Kit Bash. Kit Bash. Kit Bash. <laughs> right in the comments if you're still on the replay crew. I appreciate you. And we're getting out of here, all right? Click this video. Oh, wait a minute. Don't click that one. Click this one. That one's much better than that one. But they're both great. So you can watch them both if you want. Put them on your watch Kit later. Bash them together. Kit Make one thing on both. together. Make some reels. And, uh, and yeah, Aunt May appreciates you all the same, all right? Click one of these links.